hello and uh, welcome to libreprogramming.org's uh, video this is shiv shankar dyal presenting this tutorial till now we have studied uh, uh, many features of c now we will be proceeding to pointers now when pointers come into picture there are two things one is the address and second is the value addresses store value addresses also store other addresses as value mark the difference addresses cannot store address but they can store address as if they are values <coughs> now pointers is a very important uh, concept so what is a pointer so here you see I have written star p it is an int pointer what it means is p will be some address and that address will actually contain an integer the address will be of one individual byte but when you will dereference that is you will try to get star p then you will get the value of value contained at that address which is actually contained at p okay so it is little bit confusing yes yes i know now there are two operators involved one is star and another is ampersand star is called indirection and ampersand is called uh, address of operator now this over here note that star p is equal to null when we write then it does not mean that star p is equal to null but what it means is p is equal to null star p is the notation for p being a pointer we could have equivalently written int star q and q is equal to null now consider a plain variable i which we have declared now if i write ampersand i that means the address of that variable i and if i write star of ampersand i then that means value at that address so think that i have a ball and i have a bag and the ball is inside the bag then i ask myself a question hey <coughs> which bag contains this ball for example i is the ball and ampersand is the bag so you will say okay this bag contains the ball so you get ampersand i then i say okay now tell me this bag contains which ball so that is like getting the dereferencing so you will get that ball again so you get the original ball that is i now here p is initially nil that is null now i say okay here p now you can store the address of i okay p is basically storing the address of i that means you keep a copy now here you see p percentage p so p is a pointer because it is keeping a copy of that and then star p is nothing but t when we dereference that address then we get nothing but i but since p is keeping an a copy of address it itself is not an address so we can take its address again and then i have just used q so that it does not give me the unused variable warning but now if i want to take address of p then it's not possible because it's not an l value its address cannot be taken okay we'll see in a second how so let us uh, compile this i think i have compiled this program already okay so let's run this okay so we see this output all right now as i said you cannot take address of an address sam percent p is the address so let's try to compile this now l value required now what is an l value i think i have uh, told this in one or two tutorials <coughs> that l value is something whose address can be taken 
an expression is not an l value um <coughs> similarly uh, an address is not an l value strings like this are not an l value these are format strings something which is stored in a variable yes a string stored in a variable is an l value these will be created at runtime and will be destroyed actually these are embedded into the code <coughs> in the assembly code the entire string will be embedded and then the variable substitution happens but this will be received by printf function so <coughs> that's how it will work so make sure you understand what is a star and what is ampersand that is critical as far as syntax is concerned if you get messed up with ampersand and star no hope and also remember you can take address of p that is address of the pointer pointers have an address remember and they contain address also but then the address of the first address cannot be taken that is ampersand ampersand i is not allowed you will say p of ampersand i so i said that okay ampersand p we can do so that means ampersand ampersand i should be allowed no even that is not allowed no even that is not allowed so you can even though p is nothing but ampersand i but then this is not actually like a link it is making a copy of that that is why it is making a copy so p itself will occupy space and that will be its address that memory address 4 bytes and then on that memory ampersand i will be written and then ampersand i is something else that is the address which will contain the value of i so it's like you have two cells think like this 0xa this is the memory and it contains ampersand i and then you have some memory <coughs> 0xb and it contains okay small i and it contains i now what is ampersand i nothing but 0xb now you can modify this part 0xb but you cannot take address of 0xa and 0xb now if you do ampersand ampersand i it is like you are trying to get address of 0xb and if you do ampersand ampersand of p you are trying to get address of a but if you do ampersand ampersand of uh, sorry if you do ampersand of p that is like you are trying to get the address of 0xb which is nothing but 0xa i hope uh, this much uh, makes things rather clear so now we will proceed in our next example along with the um, we will start with swap function <coughs> or uh, rather I should avoid swap we will deal with swap <coughs> when we hit functions uh, we will proceed with malloc, calloc uh, and other memory related functions which involve pointers and we see how we allocate memory on heap and how do we deallocate those thanks for watching the video and uh, for reading more about it uh, hop on to liberprogramming.org i am in the process of rewriting the book using c11 specification and uh, i hope to complete that in let's say six to eight months uh, given that time and health permits me i'm suffering from cold so all the videos recorded today are having this problem and uh, Make sure you read the spec and you can read uh, Dennis Ritchie itself for getting a concept on this or uh, you can read uh, many other books uh, which I have uh, shown in uh, my first or second video, the list of books. Thanks for watching the video. Happy programming. <coughs>